What are the British well known for? By Barry Mahoney. The British used to be well known across the world for Shakespeare, Princess Diana and cricket. We like to be known for our infamous stiff upper lips, whatever that is, sense of fair play, tolerance and justice. Many, mostly older people, still like to revel in the days of empire and the enlightenment that has brought to the world, whilst conveniently forgetting the evils of slavery, repression and imposition of alien values upon people across the world. No doubt we all have an image of what Britain and its people stand for, although younger members of society are developing rapidly different views, which is very welcome in a fast-moving modern world. After living as an immigrant in Spain and the Canary Islands, I've come to a view which many will regard as unreasonable and non-liberal, that British citizens should first pass an intelligence test and secondly a test in basic good manners before they're granted a British passport. Many immigrants like myself and the majority of British holidaymakers are appalled by the attitudes and behaviour of a small minority of British holidaymakers. Over the years, we've become familiar with the chances who claim to have had valuable items stolen on holiday and attempt to claim the proceeds from the insurance company. It doesn't take a genius to work out that a family heading out for one of the cheapest holidays in Benidorm is unlikely to own a top-quality Rolex watch, the latest iPhone, diamond bracelet and expensive camera for each member of the family. Unfortunately, the Spanish police are now much more rigorous investigating such claims and offenders are likely to be arrested and prosecuted for fraud. In addition, insurance companies are now much wiser to such scams, sharing databases of claims and identifying potential fraud. Despite this, we still hear regularly of such claims, although most are refused and the perpetrators prosecuted for fraud. As many will have read, one British scam, and I address that so far it's only the British who are involved, is false claims for food poisoning against hotels in Spain and the Canary Islands, even though the holidaymakers have not been generally ill. There are legal companies in the UK who are presumably to loose end following the completion of the banking PPI compensation claims and are now encouraging holidaymakers to claim for food poisoning. Many claimants have received large sums of compensation from innocent Spanish hotels because the hotels cannot afford the high costs of challenging such claims in the British courts and have simply paid up without a challenge. These legal companies have been offering no-win, no-fee arrangements to hundreds of British holidaymakers, costing Spanish hotels around €60 million, Euros, which is a situation that clearly cannot continue. Spanish hoteliers and the Spanish government are now fighting back, and all future claims will have to be heard in the Spanish courts. Some hotels are now refusing to accept British guests, and those that are accepted are being carefully monitored with the introduction of signed disclaimers, and in all inclusive hotels, the quantity of food and drinks consumed during the supposed period of illness is being recorded. In addition, ringleaders will be identified and prosecuted. It was good to read this week that two British people were arrested by the Guardia Civil in Mallorca for trying to persuade tourists to make fraudulent claims while staying in the resort Alcudia. The couple were acting for a so-called legal company in the UK that is sending representatives to Spanish resorts to drum up more business, as they're clearly making massive profits. The main regions affected by these fraudulent claims are the Canary Islands, Costa Blanca, Benidorm, Mallorca, and the Costa del Sol. So, probably my suggestion for a test of intelligence and basic good manners before being granted a British passport should be regarded as tongue-in-cheek. But it is worrying that a small minority of our fellow citizens 
are behaving in a manner that eventually has a negative impact upon all. I suspect that if the question is currently asked about the, what the British are known for, it will no longer be Shakespeare, Princess Diana and Cricket. You have been listening to What Are the British Well Known For? by Barry Mahoney, and this is part of the Letters from the Atlantic series. You can find out more about me and my books by visiting my website, www.barrymahoney.com. And thank you for listening. <laughs>